floods. This is a calamity that ravages Assam every year. It is one of the most flood-prone states in the country. This year, around 6.5 lakh people were affected by the flood and around 25 have lost their lives. This is the damage the state bears annually. So why does Assam get flooded every year? Flooding from the Brahmaputra and the other rivers caused a deluge in Assam during the monsoon. 40% of the entire state is flood prone. The inundation is seen to increase every year and there are many factors that lead to it. Brahmaputra's bank erosion is one of the major reasons. The soil, sediment or rock fragments along the banks get washed away due to the heavy water flow. As a result, the course of the river changes. It gets wider. Reports say that around 8,000 hectares get eroded every year. According to a study by the state government, nearly 8% of Assam has been eaten by the Brahmaputra since 1950. In 1950, Assam also witnessed a deadly earthquake that may have altered the course of Brahmaputra. This is also seen as a reason for the annual deluge. The quake increased the amount of silt in the river and its tributaries. The silt gets deposited on the riverbed every year, changing the course of the river. According to a climate change study published by the Assam government, climate change will result in more frequent and severe floods. The increase in global temperature will result in heavier rains. This is expected to cause flash floods. The climate change study also says that by 2050, the average annual runoff of the Brahmaputra will fall by 14%. But there is also a risk of glaciers melting, leading to flash floods. Assam is home to more than 3,000 wetlands. They act as reservoirs that take in the excess water. The destruction and encroachment of these wetlands means the overflow remains unabsorbed, leading to floods. Embankment is one of the main methods adopted. But almost every year, the banks are breached, causing inundation. Desilting of the Brahmaputra is also seen as an effective method. The government believes that it will not only improve the water carrying capacity of the Brahmaputra, but also make the river navigable for bigger cargo ships. Experts believe that the best way to prevent this situation is with a plan that focuses on water and soil conservation. This plan will also have to maintain geo-environmental, eco-biological and socio-cultural integrity of the basin.